The eyebrow feud that's been going on between Selena Gomez and Kylie Jenner is not on fleek. So much so to the point where Kylie Jenner is reportedly going through a massive downfall on her own brand, Kylie Cosmetics, amid all the drama. If you guys are confused about the feud between Kylie Jenner, Hailey Bieber, and Selena Gomez that's been going on this past few weeks at this point, well, here's the Cliff Notes version. The drama kicked off last week when Selena Gomez made a TikTok about her laminated brow telling her fans that she had accidentally laminated her brows a little too much. Hours later, Kylie Jenner publicly posted a selfie on her Instagram story with the caption, this was an accident, with the words placed right over her eyebrows. She also posted another story, including a screenshot of her on FaceTime with Hailey Bieber that outstandingly showed their eyebrows. Some people decided to give Kylie the benefit of the doubt in the first place and just say that this post she originally made could have just been a coincidence and probably meant that she referred to the previous photos that she posted on her Instagram story saying that they were an accident. But after she posted Haley and both of them up close showing off their eyebrows, it just felt to a lot of people that they were mocking Selena and her eyebrows. And they especially thought it was shady that Kylie specifically brought Haley into the picture since we all know about Haley and Selena's backstory. Since then, more videos and conspiracies have been floating around where people have have been digging up Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner's past, and a lot of people are coming to the conclusion that these two girls are just filled with nothing but mean girl energy. The pushback led to Haley limiting her comments on her Instagram, whereas Kylie had left hers up. Kylie hasn't posted in over a week now, but if you take a look at her comments under her recent Instagram photos, it's not looking good. It's filled with nothing but people saying things like, Selena, let's make it to zero followers, y'all. Imagine Kylie buying 11 million more followers. Hashtag Selena Gomez. Selena, I don't like you anymore. She and Haley buying followers is so funny. I can't deal. Are we canceling her yet? I bet Kris Jenner is going crazy trying to figure out the next move to make her daughter look like an innocent girl. Real women build each other up, not tear each other down. Hashtag Team Selena. Hashtag Team Selena Gomez. I believe in karma and you're gonna get yours. Not Kylie losing her man and her followers. And you can just really tell majority of people People are siding with Selena in this whole situation because people are even going as far as to defending her by not only going over to comment on Kylie's cosmetics page, throwing out their Kylie cosmetics makeup, and even starting to purchase from Selena's brand Rare Beauty because of Kylie's mean girl energy. On Kylie Cosmetics Instagram page, most of her comments right now are filled with people commenting low quality makeup that's completely overpriced. I can get the same quality from ColourPop but for less. Us. Waste of money if you ask me. Hashtag rare beauty. Girl, buy. Not spending one more dollar on this brand. Nauseous. Low quality makeup. Karma. I will never buy this brand again. Speaking of ColourPop, there's been a TikTok video going viral about someone weighing in on Kylie Cosmetics' brand and how they think the only difference Kylie's makeup brings to the market is her packaging rather than her products themselves and how Kylie Cosmetics is not the high-end brand that they make it out to be on social media. For example, this TikToker brought attention to how Kylie Cosmetics and ColourPop's concealers only have about a three ingredient difference, and we all know how a lot of people feel about ColourPop. You know with the whole Selena Gomez, Kylie Jenner, and Hailey Bieber drama that's going on right now? I'm seeing a lot of people throw away their Kylie Cosmetics stuff, rightfully so. One thing about me, I never bought anything from Kylie Cosmetics. Not necessarily because of Kylie, but because of the fact that her products are made in the same factory as ColourPop. Their offices are literally right next to one another. You guys were never paying for quality in the first place. Don't get me wrong, I love ColourPop. Their stuff is great. But there's literally no difference between ColourPop products and Kylie Cosmetic products except for the logo. It's the same shit, one is affordable and one is ridiculously priced. Their ingredients are the same, their quality is the same. Maybe there's one thing that's like 
different but it doesn't make a big difference i don't blame y'all for wasting your money at one point kylie cosmetics was all the hype but it was never worth the price this is where people felt even more inclined to just throw out their kylie cosmetics products at this point and to no longer support kylie given her drama with selena the stuff coming out about her makeup and even other celebrities like jordan woods and pia mia making videos promoting selena's brand rare beauty during this whole drama people are literally throwing their kylie cosmetics in the bin and support selena gomez another video is captioned with we don't support bullies and then she's basically thrown away our whole kylie cosmetics collection the support for selena is real throwing out all my kylie cosmetics lipstick never again Bye bye. Here's what some people had to say. All drama aside, I think Kylie went for cute teenage packaging, but Rare Beauty knocked it out the park with her elegant packaging without her name. I had a Kylie eyeshadow palette and it was so chalky and patchy. Fenty and Rare Beauty for the win. I bought one Kylie lip kit in 2016 when she first launched and it's still sitting in my drawer because it dried my lips so bad. Now guys, this week an article by New Beauty was published with the headline, searches for rare beauty skyrocket amid celebrity feud and it read unless you live under a rock or are on the other side of the tiktok algorithm you know that selena gomez and hailey bieber's ongoing feud has recently flared up with various people taking sides a source found that google trends data shows that searches for rare beauty gomez's brand have shot up 575 percent worldwide amidst the feud reaching an all-time high not only that Rare Beauty has gained over 645,000 new Instagram followers and 500,000 fresh TikTok followers. On the contrary, Kylie Cosmetics has seen a drop in Instagram followers and searches. Gomez recently eclipsed Jenner as the most followed female on Instagram and she's gained 10 million more followers since the feud, while Jenner seemingly lost 1 million. So that's definitely some interesting data. And it it definitely says a lot about whose side people are rooting towards throughout this whole facade. It's just crazy. But it seems like even after celebrities like Jordan Woods and Pia Mia chimed in, this only fueled people to not support Kylie anymore either. Especially since Jordan Woods was a longtime friend of Kylie, and people felt like her siding with Selena also said a lot about Kylie's character, since Jordan personally knew Kylie for a while. People are posting videos and saying things like boycott Kylie cosmetics and it's just wild the measures people are going to support selena one person even pointed out how after taking a visit to their nearest ulta literally almost all of kylie's products were full of stock on the shelves i would never purposely hurt someone ever and i would obviously if i knew that this was going to be the outcome like i would have never done something like this but you you don't know when you're in the moment and like it was the most like it was Anyways guys, this has been what's been going on with Kylie Jenner and her brand amid all the drama. I definitely want to know what you guys think about the situation because it's definitely a crazy one. Let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments down below and also how you feel about people throwing out their Kylie cosmetics. I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see y'all next.